Oh no. Oh, see ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> All the way back out of the box. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today is day number four out here on Fort Peck. Yes, I say day number four instead of day number three because day number three, well, it was a grind. Um, I did film, so right now I'm gonna overlay some footage for you guys so you can see uh, why you're not seeing a day three video. Okay, don't be, I just, took out my phone and started marking. Looked like he was interested and then he's just not. Come on. No. What do you want? What do you want to eat? What if I just sit here and just do this, huh? You like that? My lines off. Oh, I could just scream. I could just. Oh my God, he's on me, dude. I. <laughs> okay. Play him. Come on now. Get up on here. So as you can tell, uh, it was a struggle. I caught one fish and I had one on that came off at the bottom of the hole, but that was probably like 13 hours of fishing. Um, so really tedious and hard to try to film every single moment of that. And halfway through the day, I just put the cameras away. It was so bad that I didn't even think I was gonna catch a lake trout, honestly. So you didn't see day three, but today is day four and we are out here giving it one more shot. This is our last day out here on Fort Peck. So hoping to go out with a bang. I am right now, we are split up into two different groups. I am out here with Sweary and I am out here with Sam. Um, we have been ripping the mini bike. We're gonna be trying some different spots, maybe meet up with those guys later today, but we're out here we're trying to catch some lake trout. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the GoPro on and we're gonna see if we can make some magic happen. All right, just like day number two, gonna be starting the day off with the frostbite tantrum I have caught a decent amount of fish actually most of my fish on it uh, that's probably because I haven't switched lures in forever but the ones that want it really do want it and they come in and smack it so it has been fun to use so we're gonna be starting the day off with this I think we're all using actually something different Sam's using a tube Sweary is using hair, and I'm using the tantrum. I got my line is all frozen right now, so nothing is working. I love Fort Peck. Today we're probably going to be running and gunning a lot, trying multiple spots, as most as we can here, and just see if we can find that one spot where we can concentrate some of these lake trout. Here we go. On. On. Off. <laughs> Oh, tragic, tragic. Oh, that's a tragedy.
Well, first one of the day and I lost it. I was uh, staring at my phone on Instagram and all of a sudden saw Mark just charging my bait. Set down the phone and uh, it took a little bit, but he ended up destroying it. Obviously he didn't get a good hook set on it or something because he came off, but uh, it's a good sign that the first one that I've marked hit it gives me hope and uh it looks like there are trout in this spot so i don't know maybe next time i won't have my phone out it's just kind of boring sitting on your screen for a while but hopefully the next one i actually can hook and land here we go we got a follower oh he hit it like awkwardly on the way down. 55. He hit it. He picked it off the bottom. Wow, that was like just such a freaking cat and mouse game forever. It's not very big, I don't think. Oh, the down, right? oh. oh flip. there he is. Wow, that fish was such a pain. You can see that giant rattle bait in its mouth, but that one, chase it up, hit it the first time. And then uh, I had to play with it for a while on the bottom, and eventually he picked it up just when I laid it on the bottom doing nothing. I had to unhook him. First one of the day for me. I've already missed two, so it feels good to finally hook up and land one. Not a big one, but you got to start somewhere. We got to a different spot. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's the start of something good in this spot and everybody can hook up. I know Sweary has not hooked up yet and he's loving life, some would say. So we'll see, we'll get the Markham back, get the bait back down there and see what happens. All right, you guys. Well, we are going serious mode now. I have taken off the tantrum. I put on the original lure I started the trip with, which is lure I used last year to catch a lot of fish. A chartreuse tube on a jig and have a stinger on it. I was not running a stinger earlier on this, but now, now I am because I have missed far too many fish. And the tantrum, it was working, but you cannot go wrong with a tube. Drops a lot faster too. I'm gonna work it real aggressive and uh, hopefully this does the ticket and get some lake trout. Oh, here we go, 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 here we go. Woo! Who's the picture? Do you want your camera? No, I'm good, I got it recording. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Oh, a screamer. Well, it came up screaming off bottom, hit 10 feet under the ice, and now it's back on the bottom. Oh no. Oh, see ya. See ya. <laughs> All the way back down to the box. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, he's right there. Looks like he's pretty good. Yeah, I think he's got both in him. Sorry, he looked a lot fat the way down there, Nick. Okay. Still a Still, decent yeah. fish, though. He gave up a hell of a fight. He was pissed off. Not a very big one, but probably, I don't know, mid-20s. Heck of a fight, which is why you come out here, really. I mean, Laker fishing so far for me has been one of those, like... It, it tests you, especially out on this lake. It really pushes you to every limit that you have. 
you're staring at a screen for hours on end and it seems like even if you pull out your phone for like two minutes you could miss a mark and if you're not moving that bait constantly and ready to move up as soon as they come in they're gone and that might be the only chance you get for the next like three hours so to catch a fish feels awesome got it on the stinger hook and the tube jig switched it up landed that fish and yeah hopefully that's not the last one of the day we still got a couple more hours so get the gopro running again and hopefully get hooked back up well, you guys are seeing that, correct? That is a tip up. And we are gonna be ending our last night on Fort Peck doing some walleye fishing. Now, this has been something that we've been wanting to do, but never bring the proper gear. And this year is one of those years where we didn't bring anything. So we're kind of using our smaller lake trout stuff. We did end up buying two tip ups at the local bait shop and got some minnows, um, me, Sweary, and Sam we really want to catch a walleye. So we took the last 45 minutes of lake trout fishing to come over to a spot that we did see some fish on the previous night. And yeah, we're just, we got three jigging rods, we got one set line, and then we got two tip ups. So anything's possible. I don't know, I guess we'll find out and see, but I wanted to pull up the camera just in case like if we actually did catch something, um, you don't randomly just see it and wonder what the heck and how did that happen, so. A little update for you guys if something crazy happens i'm gonna pick up the camera and show you but otherwise what did that just go did you hear that what i swear to god i heard zzz, zzz. Do you have it super light? Yeah. Nothing though. What happened? Hmm. I don't know. Okay yeah. I thought I heard something, but I don't know. Well, we had a little bit of a scare. That's where he got me going. I thought we were maybe going to see some fish besides the lake trout right here. But uh, yeah, still waiting. Sunset is probably 15 minutes out, so we're probably just gonna fish for maybe a good hour after dark. And like I said, I'm gonna pull out the camera if something crazy happens, but otherwise, I will see you guys most likely back at the truck. Well guys, I am back in my basement editing today's video and realized that I did not do an outro. Big surprise, it was a common theme on Fort Peck for me to get way too tired towards the end of the day and uh, just kind of forget to do an outro. So here I am editing today's video, doing an outro for you guys. Now, unfortunately, we did not catch any walleyes. Uh, we tried two days actually in a row um, for some walleyes, Sweary and I did. Sam happened to join on the last day. And we just, we couldn't do it. Fort Peck is one of those lakes where it is a challenge. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. If you're looking forward to making a trip out there one day, um, you will be shocked with how hard it is to fish out there. Now, we all consider ourselves, you know, pretty good anglers and figure we could go out there and just catch fish. Well, you're going to have to put the work in. Um, it is definitely a lake that tests you, but I had a blast. This is the second time I've been out there with the boys and I look forward to it every year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the couple videos that came from Fort Peck. Lake trout fishing is definitely something I would love to do more of. Um, it's almost like musky fishing to me where it's, I don't know a whole lot about it and it's also super challenging, but the reward is super awesome. Um, so I do want to try to do more of it. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to help me get better at lake trout fishing and maybe just some areas or what I should be doing to get better at lake trout fishing, um, I'm open for suggestions because with a couple months left of ice fishing, I do want to take a few trips um, around the area to try for some lake trout before we get some open water on the rivers. So leave those comments down below. I would really appreciate it. But if you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed the last couple of videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Anything you guys want to see the rest of the season. Like I said, we got a couple of months left here of ice. We're not going to give up on it quite yet. We are going to uh, grind it out. We got a couple more videos that are actually already filmed that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. 
um, that we did film out on ice. It's something that you guys haven't seen in quite a while, so um, looking forward to upload those. But that is pretty much it. That is all I have for you guys. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edit. Oh, 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 oh,